I think with senior year ending the way that I did, I really, really was looking forward to college to be able to start over. This was something that I'd worked for for a long time and I put hard work into. I was like over the moon to go to Harvard. And then over the summer, I thought the pandemic would get better and it kept getting worse. Once they released the fact that we would have all online classes, I was really, really disappointed. And I remember telling my mom, I was crying to her about how upset I was. I remember telling her I'm not even excited to go to the number one college in the country, <laughs> even though I should be so, so excited. I'm just sad. I am incredibly aware that I am privileged not just to go to Harvard, but also financially. Um, COVID-19, even though it has affected my family financially, has not affected us as much as some families. And talking with some of my classmates, I know that for a lot of them, uh, actually going to Harvard is the best option because of the generous financial aid that Harvard has given them. I'm really, really lucky to be going to an institution like Harvard that has such a large endowment and resources through its connections because as a low-income student, if I didn't have access to all of that, I probably would be staying home this semester. So my plan is to be there on campus in the fall. Um, when I was debating with my parents, I just told them that if I have any option of having even um, a little taste, I guess, of the college experience, I want that, right? I don't want to be have to give that up. As far as I know, everyone has single rooms. All classes are online and the dining hall is going to be reservations only or takeout. Having a college experience I just don't think is worth sacrificing the lives or potentially sacrificing the lives of students or teachers and there's a lot of people we have to consider in this situation. My dad is really big on making the best out of every situation and trying to look at things logically. So he told me you're not taking a gap year, we can't afford it but what are you going to do about it? And so I realized that I might as well make an opportunity out of a really, really unfortunate situation. I think it's a commonality within the student body that all of us have an ambition to be something more and to strive for something better. And I see that a lot right now because even though there is a lot of shared disappointment, there's also a lot of reminding each other of the opportunities we will still have and reminding each other of the experiences that we're still very lucky to get. And so I'm still very much looking forward to that. And I still do feel very lucky, uh, despite all this confusion and all the unknowns. Mm -hmm.